want to welcome my brothers and sisters from England and Montreal. And I want to welcome my brother Isaac. He, he, he's here to know about Islam. And inshallah, we'll give him an answer. I have a poem about Muhammad Baqar al-Sadr. The day, the day, the memory of a legend. Now is a light. The day where it was dark when they killed the right. The history of the 80s where no one dared to fight. No one stood against shaitan except one man. The day, the day where no one dared to speak, the truth was banned. Silence is what our answer was. What happened to our shame? They murdered the whole, they murdered the most holy person in our land. But I guess we are too scared to fight and stand. Even the day, even that day, the earth was too scared to cover Muhammad Baqar al-Sadr and sand. I guess it's Karbala again when they left Hussein's hand. And they cried after a revenge. I didn't see Muhammad Baqar al-Sadr. I didn't see Muhammad Baqar al-Sadr, but I heard he was a fair man that loved peace to be our pair. And he loved our humans. That's the sign of Ahlul Bayt for us to share. And I loved him because he was an example for us to show us the truth as a command. He gave his blood and stood against death. He said, if my blood is the way to live, then here. He said, if my blood is the way to live, then here, take my breath. I don't want it. Now the done is done. Who should we blame? Whatever, whatever we say, it's not going to be the same. Whoever left Abu Ja'far down, He's not a man. Poverty and disaster after him made Iraq in pain. Peace be upon, peace be upon the man that understood life without going to college. Peace be upon the rules that you made, it's so clear. Peace be upon the eye that cried to Allah with no fear. Peace be upon the heart that never knew fear. Salatu salam ala Muhammad wa Ali Tayyibin al-Tahirin. Oh.